All right, here we go again, everybody. We are up against Gaylord Perry today in San Francisco. This is the second game of the doubleheader. Second game of the doubleheader here for the Mets. Uh, and uh, this date, as I'm looking up my notes here, too many things open. The date here on this game is uh, May 27th, uh, 1962, and we're coming close to the end of the month. As you can see the Mets with another one of those lineups, and by those lineups I mean this is uh, one of those lineups where we've uh, mixed everybody up. 2-0 uh, and oh now the count to Mookie. Mookie's hitting 344, and he's been getting on base well. Some of the players have gone a little cool, and that's a fly ball to left, but foul. 2-1 the count. And this is swung on, hit deep to ride. Back it goes, but uh, that's going to be an easy play over there for Alou. He's got that for the out. And uh, it's just like that, there's one uh, one away. That's Felipe Alou out there and ride. Maddie in center, so I'll try to keep them straight. Up now is uh, Wally Backman who takes a ball. That was one of those that OTP refused to show us. So 1-0 the count. That was a secret ball. And there's another ball inside. 2-0. So Perry having a hard time with his control here in the very early part of this game. Next pitch in there, and that one's fisted over the left of foul. Two and one. Backman hitting 226, which relegated him before to the bottom of the lineup. This is a way it's three and one, but Dykstra, of course, tired today. You don't want everyone to be tired right before the doubleheader. And there is a strike as a full count now on Waller. And this is fisted away over to the right side. The count remains full. Up the middle, but uh, it's a good play by Hiller, the second baseman, able to get back on that one and grab the line drive. Two away, and here comes Daryl Strawberry. 3.40 p.m., so it was a day-day doubleheader. There's a strike to Daryl. 0-1. Oh, Big man up there uh, takes a ball away, 1-1. One one. Nine home runs, and he's struck out only 56 times, so you do the math. Fouled away, 1-2, and two, and Perry's got him set up. Strawberry goes up to the plate setup. Hit deep to left, carrying, but foul. One and two remains. This one's hit over to left in play, but uh, Willie McCovey able to get to that easily, and we go to the bottom of the first. It's going to be our good old friend Bruce Bereni coming off the big surgery. Bruce Bereni, one and one record, 5.98 ERA, throws a strike right past Felipe Alou, 0 oh and 1, and there is a the ball, 1 and 1 the count. Right handed pitcher winds up and throws, and that change up inside misses, it's 2 and 1. This one now hit over to the right side, and that's going to be through Howard Johnson. Uh, the left fielder um, is able to, uh, to make the call, uh, make the play. That is Willie Wilson out there, and he throws to second, but not in time. That's a double that got past Johnson. You have to wonder if Ray Knight doesn't make that play. So uh, Mookie Wilson, the left fielder, Danny Heap, the center fielder, and those are kind of screwed up. In fact, I probably should change that here in a second. Jim Davenport up there now takes a ball up and outside. And then hits a fly ball over to right. Daryl's there to catch it. He makes the catch and uh, throws over to second. Nobody's moving anywhere. One away, and here comes Willie McCovey. There's a ball outside to Willie, 1-0. And, oh. and that fastball misses outside, 2-0 oh the count. And there's a strike. It's 2-1. and one. Swing and a miss. Good fastball by Bruce at 94, 2-2. Two and, two. and boy, I think he took something off of that one. He did. 91 miles an hour, swung on and missed. So Bereni gets his first strikeout, two away, and here's Orlando Cepedo. There's a, a ground ball over to the left side, and Johnson makes a good play on it. Throws to first, but that throw is wild. It's going to be an air on the third baseman. Wide throw, and there wasn't too much that Gary Carter, who's playing at first, could do with it since Hernandez is tired. Orlando Cepeda goes over to second base, and so uh, the Mets uh, have some problem here. Ed Bailey up next. It's a long and high fly ball over to... Um, that was over to center field. Boy, a moonshot. And that baby was gone. That's about as far gone as you can be. So 3 nothing now the lead. I apologize for that one. I lost track of that completely. I thought that that was going to be caught by Daryl. And um, instead, we're going to have to take a look here at this replay and see what in the world happened. 478 feet. That's the reason why it was confusing. This one goes out by the scoreboard. That one uh, leaves uh, the entire game, and I think that one's ended up somewhere in my documents folder. So uh, a big home run for Ed Bailey, and uh, it's a 3 nothing lead for San Francisco here, and you can just about forget about it here. Bottom of the first inning, 3 nothing. Here's Matty Alou. Takes the ball high and away, 1-0. There's a fastball low, 2-0. Oh. 
And that's away again, 3-0. How? What's going on, Bruce? And there's the strike. No, it's ball four. That was just low. So four straight pitches to Matty Alou produce a walk, and that brings up Jose Pagan. Bottom of the first still. Ground ball over to second. Backman plays this one slowly, throws to first, and just in time. So San Francisco comes up with three runs in the bottom of the first inning, and we go to the top of the second. Three-nothing Giants. Top of the second inning, here's uh, Gary Carter. Gaylord Perry on the man. The ball low and away, 1-0. There's a strike, 1-1 one one the count to Gary. Low, 2-1. And, and it's a ground ball to the left side. Uh, it's a good play there by uh, Davenport. Throws to first, one away. Danny Heap up. That's a screwball outside that misses. He hitting 288. He's hit pretty well so far this season. Blasted to center. Go, baby, go. Off the wall. That one uh, landed right out of the reach of uh, Matty Alou, and it'll be an easy double for Heap. So Heap, the first met to get a base uh, a base hit here in the top of the second, and that brings up Howard Johnson. Uh, currently score 3 0 uh, Giants, but the Mets uh, threatening. Johnson hits this one up the middle, run, 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 and um, he cannot get there quite in time. It's a good play by Pagan, who threw him out. Heap goes to third, but there's two away, and up comes Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell getting that surprise start at short after I swore I'd never do it to him. And when he's when uh, Santana's tired, you got to do something. It's a ball outside and low, and then a strike on the outside corner. It's one and one. Blasted the left, but it's an easy play there for Willie McCovey. We will go to the bottom of the second inning. Three nothing Giants. Here's Chuck Hiller. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Foul the way. It's 0 and 2 now on Hiller. Foul the way again. 0 and 2 it remains. Just foul the way. That one comes back here to the camera. Pop up. Wilson runs after that, but that will not be playable. And that's grounded through first base, and uh, Carter didn't have a chance on that one at all. Base hit as Strawberry throws it back in, and that'll bring up Gaylord Perry. We will go to double play depth. 3 nothing Giants. It's not an insurmountable lead. Perry, of course, bunts, and it's a good bunt. Johnson throws to first, and he makes the, good, makes the play the way you're supposed to over to Backman. So uh, one away, runner on at second base is Chuck Hiller. Here's Felipe Alou again. Alou takes a strike in the outside corner and hits a ground ball over to third. Johnson feels it, drops it, and that's his second error of the ball game. And so uh, that'll bring up Jim Davenport, and it's happening again. So we go to double play depth. There's a ball inside the misses, one and one, Jim. And there's a strike on the outside corner. It's one and one. Ground ball again to Johnson. He goes to second for one on to first for the double play. So Backman does a good job uh, getting the pivot on to Carter. And we will go like that to the top of the third inning. It's a 3-0 lead for the Giants. Here comes Ed Hearn. Ed Hearn the catcher since Carter's at first because there's no backup first baseman. He takes the ball low. The big question, of course, is what do you do with the Mets because in 86 they only had 24 players all season. 2-0 on Ed. That was part of the collusion, as you'll recall. What you do is you just play it this way. It's all you can do. And that's a line drive. Great play by Davenport. Uh, he comes up with that one on the fly. One away. Here now is uh, Bruce Perini. Gave up that three-run homer, and he takes a ball outside. 1-0. and Looks like he's calmed down. We'll hope so because the bullpen's a little tired, too. That's fouled away. Since we're doing the as-played schedule instead of the as-scheduled schedule, now as it's 2-1, and one, we have two days off. If I could go back, I'd go back to the as scheduled, but uh, we've already started. Two and two now, the count on Bruce. And that's fouled away. It remains two and two. This is fouled back again. So the count will remain two and two here on the pitcher. Outside, full count. Fouled away again. His animations start to get to you after a little while. Fouled away again, and that's the one thing that I wish, I know that Action PC lets you turn off foul right, ball right. animations, and there's a swing and a miss, down he goes. Two away, and that'll bring up Mookie. Action lets you turn off those animations for the foul balls. I wish that OTP would do the same thing as Mookie takes a strike, because it takes up some time. Blasted to left, but that's not going to be deep enough, I think. It keeps going, and it is. 
371 feet. Mookie Wilson just barely gets a hold of that one. That makes this a 3-1 to one, uh, game uh, in favor of the Giants, and the Mets are starting to inch back a little bit, so Wilson gets the big hit, only the second of the game for the Mets. That brings up uh, Wally Backman. That pitch was outside, and Mookie just went with it. Backman takes a strike, so Wilson, with his fourth home run this season, is driven in his 12th. The Mets' offensive attack continues, and Backman hits one over to short. It's fielded and uh, thrown to first by Pagan, but it's an awful throw. Cepeda drops that one. It was a hard play for him anyway. Looks like Orlando is going to come up with the air, though, and up comes Strawberry. So runner on at first, top of the third with two outs. And here is Daryl. And you know he means business. He takes a strike. And, man, swings and misses at that one. He couldn't uh, time that screwball at all. It's 0-2. And there's strike three, and you knew that was coming. So they set him up, and down he went. We go to the bottom of the third inning, and it'll be Willie McCovey here against Bruce Perini. There's a strike down the heart of the play. And, man, that curve is a gutsy pitch. Oh, and two now on Willie. And that curve misses low. One and two the count. Strike Swing three. and a miss by McCovey, and so Barini gets the strikeout on the slider, and there's one away. Orlando Cepeda now. And there's a ball low, 1-0. and Foul the way, it's 1-1. One one. Pop-up. Who's it going to be? Second baseman Backman, and uh, there's uh, two away. Here comes uh, Bailey, who had the big home run. Takes a strike, 0-1. Oh that was that big two-run homer. Fouls one away, and it's 0-2. Oh Ed Bailey... Hits this one deep to the gap, uh, right center, left center field, apologies. Heap runs after that one and uh, gets to it, throws in, but it's way too late. That'll be a double for Bailey, and that'll bring up Matty Alou. Ed Bailey now hitting 293. Alou comes up there and takes a strike. Matty's hitting 276. Let's see if Bruce can get him. There's another strike. It's 0-2. That just misses outside corner. 1-2 and two to count. Low, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Foul ball. Misses high, full count, that was not a good pitch. And it's high again, and so Bruce still having those control problems. Two walks and two strikeouts, brings up Jose Pagan. Jose fouls one away, 0-1. And, and it's 0-2 as that's fouled away again. That one misses low, 1-2 and two the count. And there's a swing and a miss by Pagan. That pitch was way out of the strike zone, and we go to the top of the fourth. It will be Gary Carter here for the Mets, top of the fourth. And he takes a strike on the outside corner. And there's a ball low, a screw ball. One and one. And that one misses again. Two and one is the count. Popped up to left. Deep, deeper than I thought, but uh, McCovey's there for the catch. One away. Carter is cold now as well, and here comes Danny Heap. We have a number of players who are not hitting well. There's a ball down and in to Heap. One and oh. We were on fire for a while, and then that fire sizzled out. One and one now the count. And that one is a little line drive to Hiller, right side, two away. Up is Howard Johnson. Johnson's hitting 167. He's been cold all season. He takes a strike. Two airs in this game for Howard. There's a ball low. One and one is the count. Nice size crowd here, and that one misses inside, two and one. Not particularly big. And there's a swing and a miss. It's uh, two and two. 25,000 is what the game's telling me. It looks smaller. Swing and a miss, and uh, down he goes. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's still 3-1 Giants. Here's Chuck Hiller, and he takes the ball low, 1-0. Foul the way. It's going to be 1-1 one one here on Hiller, hitting uh, 321. Good for number eight, man. That's one outside, 2-1. and one. That's going to be hit over to the right side. Carter leaps up for that one, doesn't have a chance on it, and that's a base hit in front of Strawberry. So Hiller hit him where they ain't, and that'll bring up Gaylord Perry. We're going to do the double play depth again, even though I'm sure he's going to bunt. And he does try to bunt, takes the ball inside, 1-0. Oh. There's the bunt back to the pitcher, and uh, Bereni only plays first base, and so he throws to uh, Backman covering at the bag, and that will bring up uh, Alou with the runner on at second. So one away. It was a strike to Felipe, 0-1. Blasted to right, but foul. But that one was hit a long way. 0-2 the count. That had home run written all over it. The ball inside, it's 
Swing and a miss, and down he goes. So Bruce comes up with his third strikeout, two away. Fourth, I'm sorry, fourth strikeout, and here's Jim Davenport. Jim fouls one away, it's 0-1. Takes the ball just outside, that looked like a strike to me. That one's low, 2-1. Two one. Foul the way, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Strike three. Swing and a miss, and so the fifth strikeout for Bereni. And he's looking like the rest of the Mets staff. We go to the top of the fifth inning, it's still 3-1 Giants. But this might give us some momentum. Up comes Kevin Mitchell, playing short, takes the ball inside, 1-0. I'm sorry, that was the strike. They say he went around. He held up that time, 1-1 one one the count. No swing on that one inside, 2-1. and one. Hopped up to center, it's not going to drop. It holds up there for uh, Matty, and there's one away. Ed Hearn now, the uh, catcher. And the bottom part of this Mets order is hitting nothing, but there's not much we can do. We need some rest for our boys. One and one the count now on Hearn. Ground ball to short, and it's going to be an easy play for Pagan. Two away. Here comes Bruce Perenni. Low and outside. One and oh. Outside again. Two and oh. Another slider. Ground ball to short. This will do it. We're going on to first. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. 3-1 still San Francisco. Here comes McCovey. There's a strike at the knees. 0-1. Good pitch by Bruce. And that curve was low. 1-1 the count. This is fisted up over to the left field. Wilson runs after that one. Tries to catch it, and he drops it. Another air on the Mets. Three on the game. It's just a foul ball, though, in the end. There's a ball outside. 2-2 two and two the count now. That one's low. It's a full count on Willie. It's fouled away. It remains full. This is muscled over to center field. That's going to drop in front of Heap for a base hit. Heap running after that one with all his might, but couldn't get there in time. And I think what we're going to do here, this is an odd thing to do, I think, at this point in time in the game. But we're going to have these two men switch a little bit because I think that Wilson gets to that ball. So we decide to have Wilson and Heap switch. Orlando Cepeda is up with nobody out, uh, bottom of the fifth inning, 3-1 to one Giants. We go to double play depth, and there is a strike by Bruce. We need more of those. Fouled away, it's 0-2. It's fouled away again. Just barely got a piece of that slider. And there's another foul. Low, 1-2. That's muscled over to uh, left, right center field. And Wilson had him played the wrong way. Here comes his throw to the plate. Wilson's going to try to get him. No chance to get Cepeda, and it's a 4-1 to one lead for the Giants. So 4-1 to one for San Francisco. Brings up Ed Bailey, and uh, Bruce is starting to struggle, and there's a ball inside. His ERA is 386. It's outside, 2-0 oh the count, but he hasn't impressed from his pitch. So misses inside, and there's ball four. And now we've really got to ask ourselves some questions about Bruce. Mets uh, have a bunch of relievers that look good and ready, but um, I'm a little bit hesitant to uh, take uh, Bereni out necessarily right away. I want to give him a little bit of a chance to at least get out of the fifth. Up now is uh, Matty Alou, who fouls one away. Only 83 pitches, and there's a ball low. One and one. Strike two called, one and two. Bruce has him set up. A little ground ball over to Johnson, and he's got no play on it. That'll be an infield single. Too late to make the throw, so that one was uh, Maddie kind of top tapping that one over where there was no one, and that brings up Jose Pagan with the bases loaded. We go back to double play depth. It's still 4-1 Giants. There's a ball low, 1-0, and that misses outside, 2-0. And it's high and away, 3-0 the count. This is going to be it for Bruce, I think. There's the strike, 3-1. And, and that one misses outside. That's going to be it for Bereni. So Bruce Bereni has walked in the go-ahead run. Some bad luck, but also some bad pitching, and I think there was more bad pitching than bad luck. So in comes Aguilera. Aguilera himself has uh, had his adventures um, on the mound, and so we'll see how Rick does. We're not going to play righty-lefty with them. We're just going to go for it, and uh, up comes uh, Chuck Hiller. Uh, we play once again, uh, well... I think we'll just play it straight up here. Rick Aguilera, 0-1 record, 5.51 ERA, throws a ball outside, 1-0. He struck out 10, walk 3. Slider's low, 2-0. That's fouled away, it's 2-1. And, and there's a strike, 2-2 two two the count. Line foul, 2-2 two two remains. 
Now the other way. Blasted to center field. That's a line, or that's, I'm sorry, hit on the line up and above Wilson. He played that one the wrong way. That scores two at least. He gets the throw in. Hiller with the double, and it's 7-1 to one now, Giants, and this game's about to fall apart on us. Here comes Gaylord Perry. He takes the ball low and fouls one away. One and one is the count. So uh, it's uh, been Bereni who led all the runners on, and they're going to be his run. There's strike three down the middle to Perry. One away, and up comes Felipe Alou. Blasted over to right center field. Uh, Strawberry has that one for the out. Tagging is Pagan, who scores easily. No chance to get him, and it's an 8-1 to one lead. And here comes Davenport. So all those runners that Bruce put on have all scored. 0-2, oh quickly the count on Jim. That misses low and inside. 1-2, and two. and there's swing and a miss, and down he goes. We go to the top of the sixth inning. It's now 8-1 to one Giants. Up is Mookie Wilson. Wilson with the home run, one of the few offensive highlights we've had today. It takes a ball low and inside. And then hits one over the heart of the plate. It's a ground ball to Orlando Cepeda. Who goes to the bag with it, one away. Wally Backman up now. And he fists this one foul to the right side. It's 0-1. Mets having a lot of offensive problems in this road trip. There's a ball low, 1-1. One and one. This team will hit well sometimes, and sometimes they get in this kind of slump. 2-1 and one the count now on Backman. Hit over to the left field, and that one's going to fall in front of McCovey for a base hit. So Wally gets a base hit, and that's only the third hit we've seen so far. That brings up Strawberry. There's a ball low, 1-0 and the count. And there goes Backman. He's got this one stolen easily. He gets his fourth stolen base of the season, and now it's 1-1. One one. Daryl with a runner in scoring position. Fouls one away, and he's uh, down behind again, one and two. A little ground ball over to the left side. It's a good play by Pagan, but Strawberry, ooh, he is thrown out at first. Got to wonder about that one. Backman makes third. Uh, apologies for doing this, but I do want to take another look at that. I'm pretty sure that Daryl was saved. Pagan had to go way in the hole for it. Was a little bit late on the throw. Yeah, Strawberry was already there, but um, he's called out. Two away, and here comes Carter. Another uh, one of those highlights that needs to be fixed. There's a strike to Gary. One of you was telling me that it's a little bit easier to play in the old 2D mo mode because you don't have all these weird problems. One and two now the count on Gary. We're going to do this replay in 3D mode, but we might change in the future. One and two the count still. Popped up to right, and it's going to be easily playable there for Raulu, and uh, Felipe has it for the out. We go to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. It's still 8-1 to one Giants. Up first, Willie McCovey. And this is fisted foul to left, 0-1. Ground ball, and that's through Carter. A good first baseman makes that play, and that's going to be a double into the corner easily for McCovey. And so Aguilera starts giving up hits. Tenth hit now for the Giants. Up comes Cepeda, and he hits a ground ball to Mitchell. The shortstop throws to first. There's one away. Ed Bailey now with one out. Swing and a miss in the first pitch, 0-1. And, and that one misses. 1-1 one one the count. 2-1 and one now. Fouled away, and it's 2-2 two two on Ed. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. Aguilera with his third strikeout, but it's uh, we needed more than that. There's a strike to um, Alou, and a swing and a miss to Matty. It's 0-2, and, and that's down the heart of the place. Aguilera strikes out, uh, I think that's his third or fourth of this game, we go to the top of the seventh. It'll be Danny Heap up there, one for two today. He takes the ball inside, 1-0. Foul the way. It's 1-1 one one now on Heap. Heap is hitting 296. And this is hit over to left field, but foul. 1-2 and two the count. That one rows up and away. 2-2. Two and, two. and it's a ground ball to Pagan. Ed Short, who throws to first. And there's one away. Howard Johnson now hitting a lowly 162. And he takes the ball low and inside. 1-0. and oh. Low and away, 2-0. and oh. So Johnson with a good eye. And blasts this one down the left field line. Foul, just barely. 2-1. and one. Swings at this one and hits it weakly over to first. Cepeda onto the bag, 2 away. That brings up Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell, only one hit all season. That was a home run. He takes a strike. Good breaking ball from Perry. 0-1. Oh Swing and a miss. He was way late on that. 0-2. And that fork ball just misses away. One and two. 
That pitch was away. Mitchell somehow gets a bunch of wood onto that one, hitting it straight to center, and uh, that's where Matty Alou is for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It'll be Jose Pagan here for the Giants. Candlestick Park, 1962, of course. Uh, it opened in 60. 2-0 the count, and uh, not exactly the most beautiful ballpark in the world. A lot of interesting memories here, and there's a uh, line drive to right field, and it's a base hit, number 11 for the Giants, and that'll bring up a, a pinch hitter. It'll be Matty Moda coming up, and now they're going to try to do righty-lefty on us. So Aguilera is going to stay in there no matter what. He'll uh, be due up next inning. Swing and a miss, and then that's fouled away by Moda, 0-2. Oh, and, and that's inside for a ball, 1-2 and two the count. Popped up to center, and Mookie's got it for the out. One away. One away, and here comes Perry, and we will go to double play depth again. I don't suppose he would bunt down 8-1. Yeah, he will. Fouls that away, 0-1. Oh, kind of a strange decision. There's a bunt in front of the plate. Hearn throws over to Carter at first, and there's two away, and here comes Felipe. That's one where I have to question how the computer program managers program. One and one the count. Because when you're up 8-1, to one, why are you bunting? And there's a little fly ball over to left field. Heap running in on that one quickly. Dives for it and makes the play. A great play out there by Danny Heap. And we go to the top of the eighth inning, uh, down 8-1. to one. Here is uh, Ed Hearn, who's 0 for 2. And he takes the ball way in the dirt, 1-0. and 0. Round ball over to second, and uh, it's Moda throwing to first, one away. Rick Aguilera up there now. And it'll be Foster, as usual, who's going to come in to uh, pinch hit for him. So Foster comes up there hitting 175. He's done a bunch of nothing this season. And he takes the ball away, 1-0. and oh. Now, you know that OTP's engine doesn't like players like Foster. It's fouled away as 1-1. One one. Not a, It's not a huge fan of the older aging guys who were once good. 2-1, and, and that's why Foster's not hitting the way he did in real life. 3-1, and one. so many of the Mets um, hitting better than they did in 86 in real life, but not Foster. He seems to have a hole all over his swing. Swings the ball forward, and it's a full count, and uh, he hits this over to the left side. Pagan goes deep in the hole and makes the play easily. Two away, and here comes Mookie. Wilson fouls one away, 0-1 on Mookie. And takes the ball outside, 1-1 one one the count. Low, and it's 2-1 two and one now to Moki. Fouled away, it's 2-2. Two and two. Little ground ball over to second, and it's going to be really, really easy there for uh, the uh, second baseman for the Giants, and uh, it was uh, Moda who uh, now was playing at that bag, uh, going to first for the out. And we, as you can see, need to have another pinch or relief pitcher, and there will be Randy Neiman who comes in here to pitch. So Randy Neiman comes into this ball game, and um, he will face uh, Davenport here in the bottom of the eighth uh, to lead this off. Davenport, McCovey, and Cepeda, the heart of the order. Giants basically have this game won unless we can come up with a miracle in the ninth. That's fouled away 0-1. There's a slider low, 1-1 one one the count. If you think of Davey Johnson managing these Mets, you can see his hair turning gray. Brown ball over to third. Johnson throws to first, and it's the third error of the game on Johnson. And he's been playing very poorly, not hitting with the bat, not fielding with the glove, and that brings up Willie McCovey. And if your third baseman is fielding like that, you have a problem. 2-0 the count now on McCovey. And as low, it's 3-0. Foul the way, 3-1 now. And that one misses, so uh, that's another walk. Davenport goes to second, and here comes Cepeda. We have seen this before. This was what Bruce Bereni started to do. Here's a ground ball to Johnson. He throws to second for one, and uh, Backman is upended by McCovey, so there's no relay to first. One away, and that'll bring up Ed Bailey. Bailey with that big two-run home run, and there's a ball high and away. One and one. And then this is again 2-0 oh the count. And that's uh, lined over to Johnson. He grabs that, runs back to the bag, and does it himself. So Johnson with three errors today, and he makes that big play. But it's not quite as big when you're down 8-1. to one. We go to the top of the ninth inning. And they take out Perry. They're going to put in Mike McCormick to try to get the save. Another interesting decision, but I can see it happening. Swing and a miss by Backman is 0-1. Mets are cold, and there's a screwball for a strike. 0-2. Oh that misses outside, 1-2. And, and guess what? We have the Dodgers coming to town next time we play. Ground ball to short. They're gone to first. One away. Here comes Daryl. Daryl takes the ball low, 1-0. And, and that one misses low and outside. It's 2-0 quickly. 
3 0 as that missed again. So Darrell will take this all the way, and he takes a stroll down to first base. McCormick misses badly. That brings up Carter. Carter hitting 252 now, and he's uh, really gone cold. That's a ball low. And that's hit over to right field. That's in there for a base hit. A little bit of an inside out job there by Carter, and he'll get a double out of it for his trouble, and that puts runners on at second and third for the Mets. That brings up Danny Heap. Well, the rally caps go on. There is a strike down the heart of the plate, and then a fly ball over to left. A foul. It's 0 2 now on Heap. And this is uh, cranked over to center. Not particularly deep, I'll know. And it's not deep enough as Matty Alou catches that for the out. There's two away and is down to Howard Johnson. Johnson, who's committed three errors today, hits this one over to left field, and that's in there for a base hit that scores one. Carter goes to third base. Strawberry scores. you think that Carter would have scored if it wasn't the catcher, and so that'll bring up Kevin Mitchell. And as you remember, Mitchell in this game playing short, he's only got one hit, and it was a home run, hitting 0-32. And he pops this one up. That is playable, I believe. That is, Cepeda grabs that for the out, and there's the ball game. So the Mets have gone cold, the Bats have gone cold, and the Dream looks like it's starting to die as the uh, Giants are taking uh, sole possession of second place as they uh, swept this doubleheader. We will see you again, however, tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what, what, what we can do against the Dodgers back home at City Field. Final score here, 8-2 to two in favor of the Giants. Uh, poor pitching by the Mets, but um, we do still have some hope. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. We'll see if we can do a little bit better then, won't we? Talk to you later. Bye.